Today, I want to tell you the backstory of my book, Awakened Sleeping Beauty. Many people have asked uh, how this came to be, and five years ago, God spoke to me, and He said, Judy, I'm going to use your voice to wake up the Sleeping Beauties. Well, I could not understand what that meant. I was busy, I had a busy day, had a luncheon appointment, and it just kept settling in my spirit. Why would He say, you're going to wake up the Sleeping Beauties? I read every Disney story, everything I could about princesses and Sleeping Beauties, and I went to the one originally written in France in the 1400s, and it said, when Sleeping Beauty fell asleep, her mother, her father, the nanny, the butler, the baker, the landscape person, everybody fell asleep. In fact, the whole kingdom fell asleep. So I kept reading that and I'm thinking, what, what is God trying to tell me? So I read it again and then it said when Sleeping Beauty was awakened by the prince. And you remember, the prince had to tear away all the dirt, all the vines from this dirty old castle. But he finally said, uh, he went through the window and he saw Sleeping Beauty and he said, she's so beautiful, I just have to kiss her. And when he did, she woke up. So when she woke up, the mother, the father, the nanny, the butler, the baker, everybody woke up. In fact, the whole kingdom. And this is what God said. When women wake up, everybody wakes up. Women bring the beauty, they bring the flowers, they, they bring the, uh, the love and the care. If men designed the world, it would look like army barracks. I'm sorry guys, I love you, but it would be gray and white. When women come in, they bring color, they bring life. And in this book, God gave me so many amazing stories. Uh, I actually finished the last two chapters in Ireland and Scotland in a castle. And I have pictures of these castles. I'm telling you the story of the castles. And I'm telling you these stories about women all over the world, how they woke up. God has just opened up doors in Peru, Brazil, Mexico, Nicaragua, Germany. And I've been to nine countries. And what I want to challenge you today, ladies, there's a season for your life. You can't do all the same things that maybe I'm doing or other people are doing, but wait for your season. God's got a special time for you. God wants to wake you up and He wants you to wake up your family, your city, your nation. God is going to use you like never before. This book is going to be life changing and we will pray for you as you read this book that God will tell you the great story of Awaken Sleeping Beauty.